The word chiral can be used to describe a carbon atom within a molecule, or it can be used to describe a whole entire molecule completely. Um, let's talk about the difference between a chiral carbon and a chiral molecule. And let's start with just a reminder that the term chiral is used to describe an object that is different from its mirror image. A chiral carbon goes by a lot of different names. So chiral carbons could also be called chirality centers. And we'll see that the chiral carbons in a molecule are often responsible for making the whole entire molecule chiral. So chiral carbons are sometimes called chirality centers and they're sometimes called stereo centers because we will also talk about how chiral carbons or chirality is a type of stereoisomerism. And there may be some other terms as well that are similar to chiral and stereo and carbon and center and things like that. A chiral carbon is a carbon atom, oops, a carbon atom with four different substituents that are attached to it. It's really important that you think about this as four different substituents, not just different atoms, but fully different substituents. So for example, um, this carbon atom that has four different atoms attached would be a chiral carbon because it has a hydrogen, a fluorine, a bromine, and a chlorine attached. And so that's, a, that's pretty simple to see that that carbon is chiral. Um, sometimes the examples are a little less obvious. So here would be another chiral carbon. If we're focusing on the fact that chirality for a carbon atom comes from the presence of four different substituents, then we can see that this has a chlorine, a hydrogen, and not a carbon and a carbon, but a CH3 and a CH2CH3, which are two different things. So this carbon atom is chiral because it has four different substituents. A molecule will be chiral if it has a chiral carbon and also it is asymmetrical. So it has at least one chiral carbon and the molecule is asymmetrical. Don't think that there's two S's in asymmetrical. It's not asymmetrical. And so by asymmetrical, we mean that there is nowhere in the molecule where we could split it in half and have a plane of symmetry. So if we imagine this molecule right here, if we split it in half like this, the left half would be different from the right half because of the fluorine versus the chlorine. Or if we split it in half like this, the top would be different from the bottom because of the hydrogen versus the bromine. Or, and we can, we can attempt to split the molecule in any way the left half, the right half, the two halves will always be different. Most of the time, a molecule that contains a chiral carbon is also going to be chiral as well. It's very unusual for a molecule to contain a chiral carbon, but to overall not be chiral. We will look at some examples of this later on as we get more experience with this. Um, but for now, we're just going to stick with this definition and keep in the back of your head that the majority of the time when a molecule has a chiral carbon, it also will be chiral.